Uh, we're on uh, Billingham Stars TV and it's training talks with general manager Alan Flavel. Uh, we've just had a good chat with with uh, with Mikey, reflecting on a, a kind of a mixed weekend, you could say, because it was, it was a huge success in terms of getting to the final and the way it was played. But it was a bleep to, to lose it the way we did on, on Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, um, I think I think uh, all your pundits would have had us um, uh, beaten before the uh, before the, uh, the first book dropped. Really, you know, um, I talked to the referees on Saturday night, and they were surprised we were still in the game. Uh, five one down in, on Friday night in Solway. I must admit, I was a little bit concerned myself, but the lads did so well at the battle back. They got it back to five three, and I thought, well, we're in touching distance, and then. 5-4 and then Finn's tied it up with uh, with less than two minutes to go. 5 all. I thought, I'll take that. I'll take that, I believe, you know. Um, and like you say, Saturday night, tremendous game, full house, just great atmosphere. Uh, and again, I thought the lads battled really well. Um, we were a little bit fortunate to go ahead in the uh, towards the back end there with a, a, a you know, the puck coming off the keeper and back in with own net. Um, but they would take it. Um, and then we hung on for 18 minutes, uh, but couldn't quite see it out. 27 seconds to go. Uh, the shot, uh, you know, they pulled the goalie. Uh, hard shot from the blue line through a crowd of players. Tommy didn't even see it, and it was in the bottom corner. And then, uh, you know, went to overtime and still couldn't find a, a goal between us. Uh, and down the penalty shots, and unfortunately, we came up short in the penalty shots. But I mean, overall, I think. Better than I expected, better than I envisaged we would do, yeah. uh, certainly at the start of the season. So I was pleased as punch for the lads. I know it was disappointing not to win, but even so, I just thought an absolutely fantastic achievement by the lads, you know. As, as, as Mikey, Mikey said, it's kind of it's kind of taking that next step from, if you look from last season, blood in the young players, and then kind of the first step was maybe it's the playoff quarter final against Witness to make the final four. Yeah. And then this year, the next step maybe is beating Whitley Bay in the in the semi-final, and then the next step again. So the the steps towards where you want to be have, have happened over the last eighteen months. Well, you would like to think so. I mean, essentially, uh, we've got a lot of last season's team here. I just think they're all a little bit older and wiser. Uh, they've learned a lot more, uh, and obviously, bringing the likes of um, Roland in has been an absolute godsend to the team. Uh, a fantastic talent, uh, uh, great player on the ice, but um, young Finn uh, as well, you know. But, but couple that with, you know, like you say, Mikey and Sykesy and, and Mossy, you know, players that have been around for a good while. So we've got a great mix of seasoned veterans, shall we call them, uh, and young talent coming through. So, yeah, it's been a, a terrific blend this year. And, and like you say, it's probably uh, materialised quicker than possibly we thought it would. Um, but you know, I think it's a constant evolution with the team. We're constantly having to bring lads in at the bottom as, as players retire at the top end or whatever, you know. So uh, yeah, it's worked out very well. And look at on on Saturday, the kind of the offer side of things. Obviously, the forum was was pretty much full half an hour before the the game started. They were queuing out the door. The the noise was fantastic when the game started. Even better when the star scored first. The, the off ice of this cup run has been has been huge for the club. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fan base has been tremendous. I mean, with all. I mean, I stand on the door game nights, meet and greet the importance of the cup, <laughs> and um, seen a lot of new faces, a lot of new hockey fans, and I think they've really had something to uh, get excited about and be entertained by this year. We've had so many close games at home here. I think the season and the league generally this year has been pretty close. I know Solway have probably been a little bit stronger than most and, and Sheffield possibly a little bit weaker than most, but all the teams in the mix there, you've still got seven teams there that on any given night could beat each other uh, and they have done. Uh, so I just think it's a far better when it's like that, you know. Nobody wants to come and know that you're going to win, you know, 10, 15, nil or whatever. And I don't like going and beating teams that are not banned by those, those sorts of score lines. You know, you want a close competitive game that you're unsure about the outcome, you know? Yeah. Um, we, we also talked about, obviously, the weekend was, was a tough one. 
not just a cup final Friday, Saturday, but then there was a an important league game on Sunday as well. And he could have he could have maybe forgiven the lads for for not being at their best, but kind of fifteen hours after the after the final hooter, they were back on the bus, they were going down to Solly Hall and they, they gutted out it wasn't a pretty win, but they gutted out the win two one, which keeps them in second place and and that's a credit to their kind of willingness to win and, and determination to, to, to just do what it takes to get the job done. Well, that, I think that's the difference as well this year as opposed to last year as well. You know, we knew there was a job to do. The job wasn't finished. Disappointment from Saturday night, but the lads still showed up. They were all keen to get on that bus Sunday and travel down to Solly Hall. And it was a tight game. Solly Hall and own much, especially in the own ring. And uh, they gave us a good game. But um, we scored, well, the second goal was just absolutely sublime. The, the passing that went on just absolutely addressed uh, not just the keeper but the defence as well. And uh, you know we just did a good professional job, did enough. Yeah, we could have, we, we could possibly have had a couple more, but um, two one we got the points. That was the main thing. Uh, and let's get out of there, sort of thing. So uh, yeah, good job. And then finishing off the regular season at home this coming Saturday, Solihull making the trip up north. Um, a different club on the road, but they're obviously still a, an important game to try and cement that, that second spot in the table. Definitely, definitely, yes. Uh, I mean, you know, we're not giving anything or we're not taking anything for granted, sort of thing. We know there's still two games left in the regular season. Solly Hall at home this Saturday is our first one that uh, we're going to go do a professional job again and, uh, and see if we can take the points. And then the week after, we go travelling down to Nottingham on the Sunday night. Never an easy place, late at night on a Sunday, um, but you know, we'll go there and hopefully we'll be able to um, take second place in the league and that'll just give us a, a little bit easier running in the playoffs. Excellent. Well, it's been a, from the from the supporter side of the, the, the travelling support, the home support, the, on social media, it's been a, a fantastic weekend just gone, but that's kind of done. We look forward to Saturday. Hopefully a lot of those fans will come back to the to the Solihull game yeah. this Saturday, finish off the regular season and look towards the playoffs. Well, that's it. First and second of the April will be playoff weekend. Again, we're not sure um, who will be playing just yet. It's looking like it could be Blackburn or Witness or Deepside. There's quite a few teams still in the mix both ways. So um, these last few results are quite critical for all the teams. Um, and then, like I said, Playoff weekend, home and away to look forward to here in Billingham and, and then on the road. And then, uh, of course, the uh, playoff fans will hope to get to Manchester Easter weekend. And uh, let's see if we can uh, give Solway another one for the money, you know.